Lost Ark Sorceress Guide. Welcome back, Saviors GH here. Sorceress Ignite Guide Engravings, Stats, Specialty Explanation, How Do You Actually Use Your Spells, What Are Your Spells, Your Gems, Your Runes, Your Cards, All That in this video. This build focuses on boss fights, but also works for mobbing. And with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. Let's start with what is a Sorceress. It's a magic DPS class with a wide range of devastating AOE spells. And she's one of the best, if not the best, DPS class in Lost Ark. In terms of stagger, she's average, but she performs decently when stagger spells are used with Arcane Rupture, her specialty. She also has a decent set of weak point spells and can also increase the damage taken by enemies because some of your spells can debuff enemies with damage amplification, which increases the damage taken of enemies by 6%. Damage amplification is important because it also increases the damage of your teammates. Now, the Sorceress's specialty is called Arcane Rupture. To be able to use Arcane Rupture, you're gonna have to build up this specialty meter right here. 30% is enough for you to be able to use Arcane Rupture, but don't do that as the full bar of Arcane Rupture gives faster spell casting, more damage, and extra effects. Here is the description of Arcane Torrent, which is the buff you get if you activate at 100% specialty bar. Another thing is, Ignite also gives extra effects. And now that we're talking about engravings, here are the engravings that you should be using. Of course, first is Ignite. And Ignite gives your Arcane Torrent or the full bar usage of your specialty with 25% crit rate plus 50% crit damage and 50% less cooldown for your normal spells. Here is the buff info. So this is very important as this will boost your damage by a lot when executed properly. Now there's no order on the next engravings. Next engraving is All Out Attack. This will increase holding and casting spell speed and also increase the damage of both holding and casting spells. And most of your hard hitting ignition or arcane rupture spells are either casting or holding spells. For example, Doomsday is a casting spell, which is your main spell for arcane rupture. Next engraving is Hitmaster. To put it simply, all spells that is not labeled as attack type back attack or attack type front attack will receive damage increase. So if you examine closely, most of your spells are not back or front attack except Squall, Energy Discharge, or Ice Shower. Next engraving is Curse Doll which will increase your attack power but lessen your healing. Fourth engraving is Grudge. This will increase your damage but will also increase the damage you take. If you don't want this, you can use other engravings. Next engraving is Keen Blunt Weapon. This will increase your critical damage but sometimes reduces your damage. I mean sometimes. It doesn't happen that much. Now, we're not done with Keen Blunt Weapon because you should only take this if you have a high base crit rate and you're also willing to use Adrenaline. And the Adrenaline engraving creates a stack each time you use a spell and it lasts 6 seconds. And each stack is 1% attack power and it can go to 6%. That's the max stack. And when you max it out, you get an extra 15% crit rate. Now, if you've used this, you know it's a bit troublesome because if you add this, it will also add to the mana problem which can be fixed by equipment sets, spell augments, or tripods. So you gotta think about this, especially if you have other options, other sources of crit rate like an equipment set. Now, stats. Ideally, you're gonna want specialization all and the rest is crit rate. This is assuming you can fit two doomsday on one arcane rupture. But if you can't fit or use two doomsday on one arcane rupture with specialization crit, then you might wanna think of adding around 200 swiftness. And guys, at least a level seven cooldown gem for doomsday. So it can easily be used two times within one arcane rupture. We're gonna talk about this even more at the spell rotation or spell usage part of the video. Now that we're done with the stats, now spells. I will do this as fast as I could and as clearly as I could. And if you have questions, let's just discuss it on the comments. Here is my spell setup, guys. We're gonna start from the top and we're only gonna discuss the important spells. First spell is Blaze. This is your damage amplification spell. You must use this all the time to debuff enemies. And your spell augment here is damage amplification, of course, flame expansion, and weak point detection. And use Bleed Rune here. Second spell is Frost Call. This spell is for damage and gathering specialty meter. And you pick Enlightenment, Unstable Rule, and enhanced strike here and you need to use a wealth rune here third spell is optional and it's squall it's your counter spell it depends on you if you want this you don't need any spell augments for this as counter spells are reserved for the occasion 
Fourth spell is another optional spell and it's Inferno. It's a decent spell for gathering specialty meter and it also does mid stagger and weak point level 1. You don't need any spell augments for this or tripods and Inferno is the spell that you exchange with Squall if you don't want a counter spell. And if you use Inferno, look for a wealth rune. Fifth spell is Punishing Strike. This is one of your main spells when you're using Arcane Rupture as it deals more damage if you're on Arcane Torrent state. The spell augment at level 4 is either Wide Angle Attack or Mind Enhancement. If you're having trouble with mana, then use Mind Enhancement. Now at level 7, it's Electric Discharge. And at level 10, it's Magic Amplification. And use Gale Wind Rune for this. Next spell is Esoteric Reaction. This spell is for damage in Gathering Specialty Meter. At level 4, it's Quick Prep. At level 7, it's Enhanced Strike. And at level 10 is where it gets tricky because there is a rotation here where you can sink in two esoteric reaction within one arcane rupture. And if you can use two esoteric reaction within one arcane rupture, you must pick stabilized crystal. But if in your current state you cannot sink in two esoteric reaction, then you need to use shockwave. Guys, we will talk about this more at the spell rotation and skill usage part of the video. And the rune that you need to use on this spell is wealth rune. Next spell is rhyme arrow. This spell is for damage in gathering specialty meter. And it's Enlightenment or Quick Prep depending if you can sink 2 Rhyme Arrow on 1 Arcane Rupture. Then Piercing Strike and Ice Pick. And you need to use Wealth Rune on this. Now the 8th spell is Explosion. This is another one of your main spells when using Arcane Rupture as it deals more damage if you're on Arcane Torrent State. At level 4, it's Mind Enhancement or Ignite if you don't have mana problems. Then at level 7, it's Weak Point Detection. And at level 10, is Magic Amplification. As Magic Amplification enables more damage when you're on Arcane Torrent State. And as for the rune, it's Gale Wind. And the last spell is your main spell. And it's called Doomsday. This is your highest damaging spell. And you have Super Armor here when you're casting it. At level 4, it's either Mind Enhancement or Ignite. Depends on your need. At level 7, it's Asteroid. This is important because this allows you to fit 2 Doomsday on 1 Arcane Rupture. And at level 10, it's Magic Amplification. As Magic Amplification enables more damage when on Arcane Torrent State. And you need to use Gale Wind Rune for this. And as for the gems, at least a level 7 cooldown gem for Doomsday. As this will help you fit 2 Doomsday on 1 Arcane Rupture. As for the rest of the gems, just pause if you want to see. Here is my spell setup guys. I usually change Inferno here for Squall if I need counter. Now spell usage or spell rotation. In general, you build your specialty meter with Rhyme Arrow, Inferno, Frost Call, Esoteric Reaction and the rest of the spells. But if you are closer to getting your specialty meter to full, you must ready up Doomsday, Explosion and Punishing Strike as those are the important spells. But of course, it's better to use Arcane Rupture if everything is ready. Now here he goes. This is how I execute Arcane Rupture. At first, I cast Blaze, then Doomsday, and when the casting is done, I cast Frost Call ASAP, then activate Arcane Rupture. Let's pause here guys, cause you need to make sure that the first Doomsday gets the Arcane Rupture effect, or else it's a fail. So again, first I cast Blaze for the debuff, then cast Doomsday, and when the casting is done, I cast Frost Call ASAP, then activate Arcane Rupture. Then cast Esoteric Reaction, Explosion, then cancel the pushback animation of Explosion by casting Punishing Strike right after the end of the cast time of Explosion. Then after that, Rhyme Arrow, Blaze again, Inferno, Frost Call, Doomsday, and depending on your setup or how rich you are, you might be able to sync one more Esoteric Reaction. To be more specific, if you have a level 10 cooldown gem for Doomsday and Esoteric Reaction, you will be able to sync two Esoteric Reaction. Now, this is not the only approach. You can do it however you like it. Just make sure you sync two Doomsday as it's the heaviest hitting on this rotation. And as for the cards, early in the game, use damage reduction cards. And at the end game, work on Lost Wind Clef or even better, Light of Salvation. And guys, if you want to see my Pinnacle Graveyard Guide, there it goes on the screen. And there goes a Paladin Guide. Leave a like before you go. And this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.